Hey, yo, let me tell you how the spirit work, right? The spirit works like this. The universe might give you an opportunity or a fucking, what do you call that? Uh, let's just say something presents itself. Yeah, I mean, either, whether it be an idea or some bread, right? The, the spirit will tell me to tell you to leave that shit alone. <laughs> But the motherfucking spirit to tell me to do it. I do it, you get mad. You don't wanna be my friend no more. I mean, that's how the spirit works, you know what I mean? And then punish you, not me, the other motherfucker. You know what I mean? Because the universe the spirit can count on me to be nice, kind, benevolent me. Yeah, you know I mean, why you try to take me through the motions and count on you being the rotten bitch that you are, and that's when you get punished. Everything you throwing at my way, no weapon form against me shall prosper. Ah, cosmic law got to obey. That shit don't mean, but that's what that shit be. <clears throat> it wasn't talking about no God in heaven. It was talking about your subconscious mind. I don't even need a pistol out this jump. I don't. I don't need a pistol. I want a pistol, but I don't need one. I ain't gotta throw one punch, one nothing. They gotta shoot with my mind. I ain't gotta do none of that shit. Listen, listen, I ain't talking about thinking sneaky shit like I, I shoot with my mind, like I'm a scam and scheme on this nigga to get him. No, I don't do all that. I tell my subconscious mind what I want and they do it. I mean, misfortune for him, you know what I mean, or good for him. I'd rather just bless motherfuckers because that shit come back. Motherfuckers don't understand. That, that, that turn the other cheek and shit when a nigga slap you. That is not what that shit meant. That shit did not mean smack a nigga. That means under cosmic law, if you make that sacrifice, yeah, you know I mean, that you show love that I'm not going to hit this motherfucker in this case. Yeah, you know I mean, that means the universe going to give you what you want. It's going to bless you generously. Yeah, you know I mean, not too many people can do that in any case. Not just putting hands on motherfuckers. You know what I mean, saying shit about them behind their back. They got to approach them and all that type of shit. I mean, that's what that turn of a cheek shit mean. And you can't do it. Why? Because you're pride. You feel as though everybody talking about you behind your back. And you're not even going motherfucking stay there and be quiet and then just think to yourself, you know what, I ain't worried about that shit. That shit don't stop my shine. I'm still getting money. I'm still getting pussy. I'm still doing all this and all that. That shit don't stop my shine. They just talking. Excuse me. Boom. That's what that turn of a cheek shit mean. I mean, ain't about setting... <laughs> Jesus said he supposed to just let him beat you. No, 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 no. Yeah, I roll my own cigarettes. Fuck that. That shit draw. You don't know what the fuck they got in that shit. I'm about to stop smoking anyway. Hey. So yeah, man, it's a lot of shit. When you start learning how to read that Bible, dog, everything start to make sense. Like, oh shit, because you got to go outside of it to figure out the understanding and meaning of the shit that's in the book, yo. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. People don't understand what's going on. When they was talking about, when Jesus was talking about a marriage between a man and a woman, he was not talking about physical relationships. He was not. That's why King Solomon and all of them had many wives because it wasn't about that. <laughs> it wasn't about that. I mean, you know, that was just the culture for the time of the people at the time. Yeah, you know I mean, but it wasn't about that. Yeah, you know I mean, it wasn't about oh, it's sacred for a man and woman to be together. Now it is. Don't get it fucked up. It is. That's a beautiful thing. Because once you got both of those subconscious minds focused on one goal and y'all got that love motherfucking vibration going on, y'all can take over the fucking world. I mean, most motherfuckers just lack the energy to fucking move on the world. I mean, they want to start small businesses. I mean, it's cool to start small businesses, but I'm just saying, if you're going to start a business, you might as well go for the fucking gusto. Why get the fucking crumbs and you can get the whole fucking bakery? Fuck that. Why not? Who's going to stop you? But you. Who's gonna stop you but you? The sky's the limit, nigga.
the sky's the fucking limit, nigga. The only limits that you have are the ones that you set for your motherfucking self. Believe that, bitch. Believe that, nigga. I'm from the projects, nigga. We ain't have nothing, nigga. The only opportunities you miss are the ones you want to miss, nigga. The opportunities there. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know I mean? Because when you in motherfucking need mode, shit just start jumping at you. You got a job at KFC over here. It's paying 725, but it's paying 725. Then you got a job over here. This joint paid nine. Now, mind you, you're used to making 17. This one over here paying 10. That one over there paying seven. This one over here paying 11. I go to 11. You know I mean? They want you to be a manager. And this is all. I don't plan to be here that long. You know I mean? Either you find a new gig or you stay tight. You know how it is. So the cigarette keep going out. It's kind of windy. Hey, man. Get it together, man. Get it together, man. Hey, man. Drake made a hot ass line, man. He said, Life is amazing. It is what it should be. That's the best line I heard from a rapper in my fucking life. In my fucking life. Life is amazing. It is what it should be. It's whatever. Why is it that it is what it should be? It's because it's whatever you can make it. And if you're making nothing out of it, you know what I mean? Then it should be something. It was amazing. It is what it should be. You doing what you want to do. You're not going nowhere. You stagnated. Nah, uh, man, shit. This the time right now to start a motherfucking business. That's why I'm on it. I'm bold. I'm gonna give this. One. I don't give up. I just got the buff. I'm just gonna get the website. Once I get the website, I get the cards. Cool. I don't give a fuck if I just hold on to the website. It's only like, what, $5 a month or some shit like that. I don't give a fuck. I can just hold on to the website, pay that shit, and then slowly but surely, just, just as long as I got the website on there, you know what I mean? You know.